Saturday morning's robbery is being asked to call the West Hollywood Sheriff Station. Duty. A former gang member is asking mm. Dallas police to do more to fight gang violence after a group opened fire on a woman's home in southeast Dallas. It was caught on tape. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live in Dallas with more on the story. Lori. Steve, there is a lot the Dallas Police Department is not saying about this shooting. When I asked a spokeswoman if it is gang related, she responded that is under investigation and that is what is frustrating some people who live in the area. Laverne Baker says her home surveillance camera captured the terrifying moments early Tuesday morning as eight people approached and rapidly fired shots. The firing continued from across the street as they drove away. Like bombs going off. It felt like a war zone. The 74-year-old showed us how dozens of bullet holes pierced her living room walls, her TV, and even her water pipes. Bullet hole above your head, bullet hole up there, bullet hole they, where the window where they shot my window out, and, and bullet hole through here where they went through and hit, hit my water line. And this is the second time it's happened in just seven months. I think they did worse damage this time because they shut out all my windows. And it shot my car. But growing up, up in this neighborhood is really a challenge. Lamont Levels, who lives nearby, Why is Why do all to bring the black people in this town sound like they're effing retarded? Is it just because, me? Like, like because they, were, they are. <laughs> like they were just free, damn it. This is insane. It's damage this time because they shut out all my windows. And it shot my car. But growing up, up in this oh, neighborhood gee. is really a challenge. Lamont Levels, who lives nearby, is working to bring attention to what he says is a gang problem in Dallas. They put over 165 rounds into her house. That's unacceptable to me. The Dallas Police Incident Reports call the crime destruction of property and vandalism. Wow. But details are lacking. Wow. A hundred shots in their home and the cops have called it destruction of property and vandalists they're getting their cues from the woke da dallas fort worth they gotta have a woke da they're getting their cues from somewhere that don't make no sense what's well, shout out to nick town javon man says yo aqua's cracking y'all yeah man this is this is insane man um this is insane you shoot up a woman's house with a hundred bullets and you get charged with. Let's see right quick. Let's see what, what once again would be a judge. And this is the second time it's happened in just seven months. I think they did worse damage this time because they shut out all my windows and it shot my car. But growing up, up in this neighborhood is really a challenge. Lamont Levels, who lives nearby, is working to bring attention to what he says is a gang problem in Dallas. They put over 165 rounds into her house. That's unacceptable to me. The Dallas Police Incident Reports call the crime destruction of property and vandalism, but details are lacking and there is nothing identifying it as gang activity. I think it's misleading. I think that the police know that it's gang related. Level says he knows the signs because he is Damn. a gang member. We thought we was going to start this game <laughs> to buy protect. So now let me guess. What do you think he's doing right now with his life? We could form a gang member. Probably has a nonprofit working with people's kids, right? <laughs> yeah, man. That's about. That sounds about right. That's um. That's most gangsters who live long enough or come home from jail that's most of their um you know that's how the story that's the next chapter let's see he knows the signs because he is a former gang member we thought we was going to start this gang to provide protection love for our community we didn't never think about the blueprint of the destruction i was shot in my temple i was left for dead by my own gang members so i tell people now God closed my eyes in order for me to see. Now he's dedicated his life to speaking to young people. Wow, he's blind. Did y'all know that? Nah. Wow, he's dedicated his life to speaking to young people. Wicked, you was right. 
Wicked nailed it. As in order for me to see. Now he's dedicated his life to speaking Lucky to young guess. people, warning them not to go down the path he did. You are either gonna. Now, up I think he's gonna be effective, though. <laughs> I mean, no cap. I think this guy's gonna be effective. A little bit better than most, because he really yeah. probably genuinely means it. The only thing is, yeah. he's got to stop saying the same rhetoric. It. I don't got nothing to do with him believing it. It got everything to do with that walking stick. Once they <laughs> see that and they realize, and he say that's how I, I, my gang, my gang activity got me that. Because what he should do is he should sit there, like and act like normal, and then talk to the kids and shit, and then pull the stick out. Be like, hey man, let's walk, let's go to the um, let's go to the water fountain, man. Well, let's go to the the, 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 the the concession machine. Let's go to the um, vending machine. And then you go, like, all right. And then get up, pull the stick out, and be like, walk and shit. you like, what? You blind? Yeah, man. They shot them in the temple, man. Then my gang left me for dead. Think about that, man. What a rough, what a rough, rough break for this brother, man. Gangs, man. It's leading. I think that the police know that it's gang related. Level says he knows the signs because he is a former gang member. We thought we was going to start this gang to provide protection, love for our community. We didn't never community the of the destruction. I was shot in my temple. I'm brown shirt. I was left for dead by my own gang members. So I tell people now. God closed my eyes in order for me to see. Now he's dedicated his life to speaking to young people, warning them not to go down the path he did. You are either going to end up in a penitentiary or you're going to end up dead and gone. When you heard the message about violent crime in Dallas Talk going about the down, blind leading the side of your mind. When I hear a message about the crime going down, I laugh about it because. <laughs> oh, my they, God. it is funny though. I'll give him that. Yeah, they hit. He can see it. Even he can see there's a crowd, bro. <laughs> like, yo, yo, yo I, I love, I love when you said, "I don't be like me." Yeah, I had all the bitches. I had all the yeah. cars. I had money. Don't be like me. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he's gonna be giving that message to the kids he's mentoring. His, his, his. His testimony is that 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 CNI stick. What do they call that stick? The one where they yeah. like filling out. Oh, yeah. A walking. Man, yeah. I, man I, he could beat them shorties with that stick. He's not gonna do nothing for them. Some shorty gonna be like, I don't, of course we know not many, but like say he have like a group of like ten kids, right? And he tell his story. And they got a, and they, and he just tell them to walk with him. He said, Come "Hey, walk. Uh, no joke, it's called a white cane." <laughs> a white king, oh, white shit. cane. Oh, white. That's cane. the instrument that the oh, blind carries. Hold on, but what are you saying though? So he's gonna tell these ten kids what, and what's gonna happen? No, just by telling his story. Man, I would give somebody. You hold on, it's gonna, re, it's gonna resent. I mean, resonate yeah. with one of them. Mm, I don't know. I, if you would have <laughs> one out of 100, I would have given you that. But I can't give you one out of 10. Nah, he, he's like, yo, this is a, this is a, this shit is real. Like his plight, his shit is real, man. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, look, look, this, this is not, oh, I went and did a bunch of time and shit and got a bunch of tattoos. Yeah. And you know, I wrapped the hood in the joint. Nobody fucked with me in the joint, of course. You know, it was like a vacation. I did that shit standing <laughs> yeah. on my head. Right. Nah, this is but this, this is these, yo. These little clowns have homies that are fucking they wheelchairs, got the shit bag. You know, they, some of them got, don't have dudes that been shot through the temple and blinded. Some of them homies don't have that. Some of the little right. homies don't have that. You going soft on me? I... <laughs> No, I I think I I definitely agree that it's not going to resonate with a lot of them. I just think he could reach. I think in a group, he could reach one kid in a group. 
or flee your land. I don't think nobody, no little kid out here playing gang banging and acting tough, a tweener, like one of the tweeners. The pretenders? Yeah, yeah. Or or yeah, they, they may be pretenders or they or they're just like they got good parents. And they, you know, they can't like gang bang at night. They can only gang bang at school and shit. Or they can only gang bang after school, but at night they gotta be in the house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Their parents care about them and shit. <laughs> I hear a message about the crime going down. I laugh about it because I know the crime is not going down. They don't have gang problems where they live or where they lay their head at night, but there's gang problems over here every night. Baker says she is praying police capture the shooters. Think before about someone this. Is Imagine if you're a 75-year-old and you're sitting in your house and these dudes come up and just spray a hundred bullets into your house. And you're 75 years old. How do you not be, how does that fear not just grip you? How do you release that fear at some point? Because you're thinking, I'm an old person. These young boys out here doing that, I'm out the way. I'm completely out the way. All I got to do is keep my head down, go pick up my medicine from CVS, go down to the goddamn McDonald's and get a free coffee, maybe play some uh, goddamn bingo at the church every once in a while, but I'm out the way. And then now that veneer of safety of being out the way is straight up snatched from you. When these fools come and spray your house with a hundred bullets. Laverne Baker says her home surveillance camera captured the terrifying moments early Tuesday morning as eight people approached and rapidly fired shots. The firing continued from across the street as they drove away. Like bombs going off. It felt like a war zone. Angel Reese. Press one if you want Angel Reese to speak out on this, man. Angel Reese, we need you to speak out on this. Where you at, Angel Reese? Two at five, a man from the Crosstown area escapes with his life after being carjacked and being forced to withdraw money from an ATM. Tonight, the man accused of attacking him is charged with robbery and kidnapping, harassment and assault. As WRG's Mike Sirianni reports, this all began when the victim started having car trouble. Don't trust nobody. <laughs> yeah, this is where we're headed. Yeah. Low trust. Especially, uh, is there is there somebody we should especially not trust? The I mean, most untrustworthy. <laughs> yeah, man. Like uh, on the on the tears, man. <laughs> on your <laughs> antitrust tear. What you trying to say, man? Is there, I don't know who's in it. Is there some kind of like way of rating the faith and credit of a certain group? Yeah, we need like a general number for them. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. I agree with this guy, but he trusted somebody, and he's seventy-one years old. Uh, he got the memo a long time ago, man. Uh, he been around since before hip hop, man. He, <laughs> Look he at saw, that. He, uh, his face, man. He, he looked like God damn it, man. I, I knew better. I knew better. Don't trust nobody. Some man with a mask is in the background. People do anything. Memphis and Billy Webb reacting to a report a 71-year-old man was robbed May 31st, had his vehicle stolen and life threatened after he stopped at this gas station on Poplar in the medical district because he was having battery problems. Uh, that's outrageous. It's getting down where people not safe in their cars. According to police, a man later identified as 33-year-old Darius Woods offered to help the man, then asked for a ride in exchange for fixing the problem. Once on the road, Woods allegedly started searching the victim and began demanding money. According to the police report, the victim drove the suspect to this convenience store on Jackson Avenue, where the victim withdrew about $260 from the ATM. 
He says the suspect kept telling him, give me the money, give me the money. So the victim did because he said, quote, he was in fear of his life. The victim says he never saw a gun, but claims Woods kept his hand in his left jacket pocket as though he had a gun. After making a couple more stops, the victim, with his cell phone and vehicle key fob, was put out in the 1400 block of Court Avenue, where he called police for help. Somehow, Woods managed to call the victim, demanding the vehicle key fob and threatening to shoot up his home, even sending a text that read, quote, don't let me catch you leaving wow. out the house. What and the fuck? Yo, the Angel Reese. I need Angel Reese to speak out on this, man. If Caitlin Clark got to speak up out about the white people, what white people do, so they asking Caitlin Clark to speak out about white racism. Oh, they uh, told her to do it. Oh yeah. Oh, you didn't see that? Oh, I, I gotta. I'll play it for you. Yeah, they 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 got to her, and she and she kind of made a little. She kind of bent the knee. She didn't kneel yet. But she bent the knee. Oh, she's gonna have to though. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But Can't yo, even to me. But yo, man, the son man is hell on the elderly though. Hell I'm telling me. you. I'm telling you, man. God, let me damn. catch you leaving out the house man. now. Oh man, don't let me catch you, there. oh man. A straight up menace, man. Like man. you think about what kind of bad guy this is. This guy's a bad person, man. Hell Let's yeah. keep it a buck, man. There's no really? other way to describe this guy. He's a bad person. But but I mean, I I mean, look, once again, I, I I find myself saying this often on here. Once again, the behavior patterns are manifesting themselves. Oh, uh, like the a son man attacking the elderly. Is that a consistent behavior we see here? Anyone yeah. that doesn't agree with me in the in the chat that thinks different, that knows different, hit the link. Let me know. Because if you've been around Ag Nation long enough, you're going to see that for years now that we've been watching this, the sun man is hell on the elderly. Man, just bullying this old guy. You got to be a real bad guy. This guy right here is a real, like, he's a real bad bad person man there's nothing else to say about on jackson avenue where the victim withdrew about 260 dollars from the atm he says the suspect kept telling him give me the money give me the money so the victim did because he said quote he was in fear of his life the victim says he never saw a gun, but claims Woods kept his hand in his left jacket pocket as though he had a gun. After making a couple more stops, the victim, with his cell phone and vehicle key fob, was put out in the 1400 block of Court Avenue, where he called police for help. Somehow, Woods managed to call the victim, demanding the vehicle key fob and threatening to shoot up his home, even sending a text that read, quote, don't let me catch you leaving out the house, end quote. Police were able to trace the text back to a phone used by Darius Woods, who was later identified by the victim. For your news leader, I'm Mike Suriani, W. Hey, I, did, you, did you hear the story? I don't know too much about it, but the two little glider... The Glider girls in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, they 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 didn't release the the suspects information yet. Last time I checked, but long story short, two little Glider girls, her mother was killed in uh, Louisiana. Their daughters were missing. Well, you know the the agents of white supremacy doing a fucking a search for them, found their dead bodies in Jackson, Mississippi, Africa, but they haven't released the. Mm -hmm. They haven't released the offenders information or anything about them yet, though. This is like, but hey, look, my money's on son. Fucking Green Mile shit. I hope it was a glider, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really hope it was a fucking glider. Mm. Honestly, yeah. The REG News Channel Three. Now, Darius Woods appeared for a video arraignment this morning and is scheduled for a bond hearing tomorrow. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> Well, police in Camden County are warning that so-called gelatin guns are being used maliciously by some young people.